Hello, welcome to another Pick a Card reading. We are going to be doing what is going on with your person, messages from your person. And we have four decks to pick from today. First one, we have the Shaman Tarot. Second, we have the Cosmic Tarot. We then have the two-sided deck. And the last, we have the Lindstrom Tarot. So. I will just hold this here for a bit. I'm sorry for the lighting. We are in massive rainforest country and it's raining. Um, and it's the best lighting I could get today. But uh, just pause it if you need to. And we're going to get started. Hello, pile number one. This is for you. Messages from your person. What's going on in your connection? If you picked the shaman deck. So let's get started. So I'm just going to fix the camera for you. Let's get started and see what's going on with your person. Let's see what's going on with them first. Let's see if we can get a profile about them first. What they're about. Spirit, this is for time number one. What is going on with their person? Right, let's see what, where this person is at right now. And uh, you can identify this person in your life. And um, yeah, let's see where this person is at right now. We have this person is completely stuck. We have the Eight of Wands. So they're not willing to communicate. You're in some type of separation. No contact, obviously. I mean, if you are watching these. But um, this person just feels like they are unable to move forward. They're having some addictions. They're very in their comfort zone. And they're blocked off to this connection right now. But you are divine counterparts. We have a king and queen. Okay, so this could be a twin flame journey. Um, but there's definitely, um, both of you are showing up in the same position. So the overall message Spirit is saying for this connection, um, wow, okay, and we're going to take the Ace of Cups and Fate, wow, okay, so the overall energies for this reading is we have the tarot here with this the tower okay so a complete breakdown is happening right now which is why you are in complete um separation no contact if this doesn't sound like your story you can pick another pile but i'm pretty sure this is going to resonate there's an ending here we have the um we have the world and the tower together that is a massive ending of karmic cycles take it as it resonates could be twin flame but twin flames deal with a lot of karma as well could be a karmic partner but there was a massive awakening there's a breaking down um, so that you guys can come back to work together and build something this is about building structures and and buildings and um, a contract soul contracts it's the three of pentacles so both of you are somewhat closed off uh, and this this awakening has had to come forward um, in order for you guys to end these codependent patterns, okay, and your person is trying to do that, uh, their comfort zone, okay, it's a way of li life, it's going to be different as well, um, and it's not that I don't feel that they don't have feelings for you, but I definitely feel that it's a massive upheaval that's happening here, um, we also have spirit told me to take the ace of cups with the wheel of fortune so this is beautiful love and this is i feel a surrendering that's starting to happen here with your person that they're starting to actually seek something more um, because they're becoming aware with their tower moment of this divine love wow let's see what's also going on with your person messages from your person to palm number one please spirit what is going on for paw number one so there is definitely a massive awakening that's happening here, ending a massive cycles, so that you guys can come back together in the future. What is going on with pile one? Yeah. Let's get one more. Okay, so what I'm getting here is there is definitely deadly sins, which is uh, the devil toxicity. So there is um, a lot of darkness that's happening right now um but th again that's what i was feeling like it is moving to calmer waters because the fate card is here the wheel of fortune is turning um even though you're both kind of closed off to each other you're both hanging on to each other you're trying to get into a proper alignment with each other and um it's trying to move into something more faded let's see what else is going on with your 
person here. Um, yeah, let's get one of these soul cards. What is going on with Pile 1's person? Messages to Pile 1. So I feel like they want to come towards you. It is moving to a better place, but they want to be the, their best selves towards you. What is Pile 1's person towards them, Spirit? What is Pile 1's person towards them? Wow, okay, we've got quite a bit that's come out here. So yeah, this is exactly what I'm feeling. They're coming into a place of renewal within themselves. So this person is definitely having an awakening. And again, there here is the surrender. I feel like this is a complete surrender, very much in what I was seeing with this Wheel of Fortune, okay? So um, yeah, do you see how the hands are being held up? So they're ready to receive, and they're waiting for a direction um, from their higher angels, guides, God, source, or ancestors, whatever they pray to, to come towards you. Now, this is a massive transformation. They've had to walk away in order for this transformation for this transformation to happen, and they want you to know this, that it wasn't something that um, you did. I don't feel that. I feel it was just part of the evolution process, and they couldn't come to this point of awakening until they did this. So, Let's see what's going on with Pile One's person. What would they like them to know? Messages from their person. So they're saying that I didn't want this time out, but there was too much toxicity in my life that was holding me back. And they're saying too that they could see things that you would have probably just really stood by their side and helped them and it would have hindered things more because this is something that they know they've had to do a long time before you even came along. And... Um, it was just time to finally do that work. Oh, one person. It's a lot of family stuff. Um, traumas, it could be. I feel not being there for their children. Um, yeah, they knew that they had to take action on their intuition. And they're going to start doing that. So there is a message coming towards uh, pile one here that they had to take action on what their inner knowing was to clear things out of their life. Um, because they weren't doing that before. And when you came along, it was almost like a sign to say, yes, it is time to finally do this work pile one, okay? Um, they know that this is an adventure with you. So they are trying to change with 5-5. Five five, and they also know that this is a mass amount of abundance. So they definitely want this with you. Um, so let's see if we can get a time marker on that because uh, they definitely um, want to come forward. Let's see when Pile One person is going to come forward, Spirit. Let's see if we can get a time marker. So I'm just finding the right deck here. There it is. Oh, is that it? No, there it is. Let's see if we can get a time marker for Pile One, please. When is the person going to come towards them? An action. Any messages from Pile One's person? Messages from Pile One's person. Thank you, Spirit. Messages from Pile One's person. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> they really want to come forward. We'll, we'll just say that. Um, yeah, they, they want to, they, they're waiting, okay? So they're not quite there yet. Um, Please remain positive, and they are giving you a time of a year from now. And it may not be that they're not going to contact, but they may not be ready for something this profound until uh, a year from now. Let's clarify a little bit further. Paul One's person, why are they saying a year from now, Spirit? They're trying to unchop themselves from old ways of thinking. So they are being led very sacredly here to take their guards down, the seven of wands in reverse, eight of swords in reverse. So they are untrapping themselves, but this entrapment is years in the making is what I'm hearing. And so it's going to take some time. They know you're their empress. You are in the reverse here, but they can't birth anything new with you because they have to, they want to quickly move towards you. And so they're trying to quickly and communicate with you. So you may get communication, but they're also, spirit is also saying that, um, they're trying to do their best right now um, to heal themselves. And so to move things into where you would like it to be, um, it's not ready to birth anything new, but they do see you as the empress and they have pushed you away and they completely recognize that they pushed you away. And so they may want to come in with communication to resolve that, clarify that communication. Yeah, about why they abandoned you, five of pentacles. So they definitely want to talk to you about why they pushed you away. But they want to, <laughs> see, they want a family, they want commitment, but they're working on their family patterns. And I feel like that's what's holding them up here because there's some deep traumas that they're, they're, 
they want to heal they want to come out of separation with you but they have and when they're done they're healing the four of swords in reverse they have to be completed this type of healing before they actually approach you fully um they have to get off the path that they've created for themselves before they can fully come right to you and there's something to do with um abandonment issues as well that they've had since they were young and so it's not you um this card was on the floor so it must have fallen and i didn't see it but they don't want to fight with you so whatever happened in this connection there definitely was something um and it may have hurt but they want you to know that um it wasn't because of you it's really what i'm getting okay it wasn't because of you and um there was just a lot of stuff that they were dealing with let's see where they're healing in their chakras right now pile one's messages please what's going on with pile one and their person what messages do they have about their healing towards pile one what they're working on before they come forward please spirit what's going on with pile one's person yeah so they're definitely at a um they want joy with you definitely they do see how this can be abund abundant and joyful and pretty amazing they're having faith that this is going to work out okay um what's also happening here they are at an impasse okay so they are definitely at a forks in the road not quite sure of which direction to go in but they're gaining a lot of um wisdom as they're going through this complacency they have to almost go through this to know how joyful this connection can be and they're gaining a lot of wisdom from the father and the feminine energy the mo the mother and the father energies of earth and of the father energy of creator force so they're really trying to balance this there's also two bushes talking to each other so there's not a day that goes by that they don't think of you but they're definitely on a profound healing journey so let's take a look and see what else is going on what are they dealing with pile one please person what are they dealing with messages from their person um what are they dealing with we're going to take a look too at the emotional realm um to see what they're also healing um where is that deck there it is let's see what emotional wounds they're dealing with yeah let's do that one first so what is going on with pile one's person what are the emotional wounds that they're healing that need to be healed before they come forward to pile one what's going on with pile one's person what are they healing before they come forward cyber bullying interesting now wow um this may be just how people bully the in these days because what i'm feeling is like um spirit is bringing the message like if you look at how kids bully these days it's not in school it's online and um that type of emotional pain this person was bullied in their youth and um that's affected them and how they've communicated in their life it's affected uh, that's what the trauma was a lot let's get another one on that the cyber bullying um it's affected them a lot in their life dark force entities that they've had to deal and because they're super sensitive they had to deal with darker energies that come and attack them and so the cyber what i'm getting is like it's not necessarily just bullying from kids in school it's darker entities that bullies this person um, because of their sensitivity and um, they're working on that's why the faith is so strong with this person they're really surrendering to god they have a very strong spiritual connection in a person and they're really finding their joy in their faith so they know they didn't want to disrupt you with these darker forces or anything else that they knew what was going on with them and they're getting a lot of wisdom in this that's what's putting them at the impasse they want to make sure that they're completely transformed for this type of connection you guys are definitely like twin flames or like a very high level soulmate Let's take a look at what else Pile One's person towards them. Spirit, what is going on with Pile One's person towards them? And it has to do with their family, too, because I feel that um, they're, they come from a lineage that's very psychic, but they're very they're they're not open to it so they're either um not working in the right energies with it or they have a, a very strong ego about their gifts or they um 
think it's all crazy and bullied your person as well because of how they saw so what i'm getting here is like here is the divine feminine it's a mature woman okay that they see you that they do want to work with you they do want to create something with you occupation which is like hobbies and things like that in this card they want a home here and they want children but that could be also what they're dealing with their inner child healing and their home life and learning how to heal these things before they come forward all right let's get some love messages from them to you how do they feel pile one's person what are the love messages that they would like to say? So they're working on themselves, and I feel like when they're ready, they'll come forward. Because you definitely have a huge awakening that's happened here. They want to action and come towards you, but they know it's going to be a lot of changes once they do. If you guys would like a reading, I am booking up for June. So make sure you email me, and I can send you those links to book a live reading, which is one hour face-to-face -face with me. I get a lot more detailed information if you do face-to-face, -face and it's all recorded and sent to you on a private server cloud server for your convenience and there's also a 30 minute read that i record um, up to five questions three questions guaranteed for you take a look down below and send me an email all right don't forget to like and subscribe guys here are the messages from your person of how they feel yeah they want to go away with you they know who you are this is beautiful so They know, they felt this brand new love with you, but they had to learn how to love themselves first, okay? They really did. They felt this with you. It was a huge connection, but they had to. They knew they had to love themselves first before they could come towards you. Um, they want to go away with you. They, were, they did retreat, okay? They did retreat from this connection, but they do want to give this a chance with you, okay? Because you are definitely their soulmate. So beautiful. They definitely want to come towards you, and you are their soulmate. Let's see what other messages from your person. What other messages from Pile One's person, please, Spirit? What other messages does Pile One's person have for them, Spirit? What is going on for Pile One's person? What messages do they have? Yeah, they, they sabotage this. <laughs> they think about the past a lot, okay? We have here that um, things have come to light. They found out a lot of things about themselves during this time of separation, but they they want they had they did sabotage it. Um, they've done it repeatedly in their life. They didn't mean to do that. That came up in this reading too, and so they do want to fix it. Okay, they they came from a place of the past. Okay, we have the cassette. They they're outdated thinking. Okay, and it yeah you did you may have chased them. Okay. Um, and they're really heartbroken about this. They want you to know that they are heartbroken about this. And they do like you. Some Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. So these feelings are returning to them. If they haven't expressed it or they felt that they weren't interested, um, they definitely want to give this a chance. They want to go away with you. They have to learn how to love themselves because this is a brand new kind of love that they've never felt before. And uh, they really wanted to um, heal themselves first. That's really what I'm getting. So let's get some other messages here. Um, there we go. This is my mirrored message deck. Let's see some messages from your person. Now, what I'm getting here is when it comes up in white, it's their person's messages directly to you. And when it shows up in black, um, those are the masculine messages that they feel within themselves. Yeah, and if it's a masculine that you're talking about, um, that you're asking about, this is their direct messages to you. And when it is black, and if you are female, then um, this is how they hear telepathy-wise from you, okay? And then you can reverse that for your reading. What is Pile One's person's personal messages to Pile One, please? We've got quite a bit. So they hear you tele telepathy-wise, okay? Um, let's start with the one that they directly want to say to you. It was never you. It was always me. I ran because I didn't know how to explain something I couldn't grasp. In all honesty, you awakened me out of a deep slumber. I couldn't articulate what I was experiencing. Then I felt ridiculous. As more time went on, my self-worth and inadequate feelings created a never-ending loop of self-deprecation. You can pause that. 
I'll just hold it up like this so that you could read that. They created a loop and um, they feel kind of foolish about it, but they hear you telepathy wise and this is what they're picking up and how they feel in the feminine energy with you. I am feeling a little off. Something feels different. What is going on with you? So they're a little bit worried about maybe what's happened in this connection. They're a little bit afraid that you may move on. Um, but definitely don't wait. This person is still obviously healing, but it is faded is what I'm seeing, this love. Um, I feel you guys may get another go around to it. I love you in all ways and all forms, including how I love God. So that is really beautiful. They love you just as how they love God. This person is very spiritual. I keep getting attacked by darker... See? I keep getting attacked by darker forces. I can't seem to pull out of it. Are you in a dark space? So this is the thing that they've been dealing with their whole life. Their darker forces are really keeping them trapped. And um, they've known about this their whole life. And they know they're seeking help. They're trying to figure it out. Um, because they know how pure this love is. And they know they have to figure it out. Because I feel it's been more like a curse for this person. And anytime they get involved, it starts to happen again. And unfortunately, sometimes dark forces plagues a lineage especially when the lineage is super psychic and a big healer on this planet um so they're trying to really figure that out i'm sorry i pulled away from you but i need to heal and move on from this vibration it's not healthy for me so again that's another message from your person that they are doing a deep spiritual war for a transformation and uh they, they, they're going to be a great healer, healer and light worker when they come out of this. Just so you know, they are heartbroken about this and they are doing their work. All right. If you want a reading, don't forget to email me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It returns uh, the karma ener energy for doing your readings. And I'm sending you guys so much love. I'd love to hear your comments about this, especially with the darker forces. I've worked with that too my whole life. And um, if that's something that you need help with, I can definitely... Um, help you with that and uh yeah i'm sending you so much love bye guys hey patu welcome to your reading if you picked the cosmic tarot this is the tarot that i created let's take a look and see what's going on with your person and what person we are connecting to in pile two so you can um, know that this pile is for you so let's take a look. What is going on with Pile 2 person? Who is this person? And what are their messages for Pile 2? Thank you, Spirit. What is going on with Pile 2? So we're going to take a look and just get an overall feel for this person right now. What is going on? Thank you, Spirit, with Pile 2. We have the Three of Wands in reverse. We have Death in reverse. We have the King of Swords in reverse. And we have Three of Cups in reverse. That's really good. Um, I feel like they're no longer waiting in their life right now. They don't want things to end with you. They know that they may have been a bit of a narcissistic uh, <laughs> energy and block to you, but they definitely want a reunion and a friendship. Let's see what's coming on the bottom. The overall energy is the Five of Pentacles in reverse. They want to return. Um... They're breaking down foundations right now. Four of Wands in reverse could be ending a marriage pile too. They're not offering anything right now. Why are they not? Let's take a look. Because they're ending, a, having a divorce or they're going through some massive toxicity. So the overall energy is definitely that they want to come forward. They're in a type of other commitment. Um, definitely a third party situation. Um, they're, that's why they're not offering anything. They have a foundation or something solid a home life or a long-term relationship that they're ending it's very toxic this is why they can't come forward but they definitely want to return they they are delaying they could be delaying an ending because of this marriage but it's also um what i'm feeling they can't plan a future anymore with where they're at and so they can't delay this ending anymore of where they're at so they are knowing that they have to end this um stubborn energy is what i'm getting that they've been trying to just balance and maybe juggle um, this entire situation and it's no longer working and it's causing more issues than anything so i feel that this person is really kind of done where they're at right now let's see what oh well as you see i'm doing that this is coming out and when that happens that's your message so the first thing that came out here is karmic justice so definitely spirit is trying to 
um, and karmic justice with this person it came out with the justice card okay guys so when it comes out with the justice card that is definitely a decision is being made do justice um, right now that they're ending a massive cycle a marriage a long-term relationship okay um, that's why they're saying no to you right now or they may not be in contact with you or keeping conversations at a very minimal um, because they know that you're their life partner right now okay um, so they're definitely in a karmic situation um, that they are wanting to dissolve okay let's pull a little bit more tarot on that because I'm definitely feel it they see things clearly so they're not stuck they don't have their head in the sand um, so they see it very clearly they're very aware clarify that justice yeah they're revealing a lot of truth right now wow this person is coming out of their darkness and the tower the moon with the tower so definitely a shake-up that's happening this is why they're saying no they're protecting you I'm seeing I'm feeling this person is highly protective of you I feel this person they're dealing with is a bit of a monster um, can be very vengeful and um, there's definitely there's definitely things shifting and sorting out right now. This is definitely um, seduce seduction. This karmic person could be trying to seduce your person back into the relationship, but they're also mean spirited, and that's why there is a delay. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse, so definitely a delay um, of what's happening because um, of this tower moment. So um, this person has every plan to return to you, um, but they're definitely in the midst of ending this karmic situation let's see what else is coming up pile two's messages for you i feel they have a lot of fire could have a lot of leo in their chart is what i'm seeing could be a capricorn um cancer scorpio pisces um those are the messages those are the signs that i'm seeing so uh could be libra or an aquarius but it doesn't it doesn't have to be but i'm definitely feeling that they're fired up about this and they're not taking no for an answer either when they do come back to you you are their life partner that's another message i'm getting with this no and that you are their life partner and you're just gonna have to deal with that pile two <laughs> that's pretty much what i'm getting what else for pile two towards a very aggressive spurt person when they get what they want they want it right um there is a timeout in the, this connection right now but that's coming to an end because it is a 37 which is a 10 um they're gonna put the effort in so don't worry about that they want to come forward and put the effort in they're holding a deep compassion for you i feel like they may have put you through the ringer a bit um and so they want to make it up to you is what i'm getting yeah they're he they want to heal this situation exactly what i was feeling okay so they definitely want to heal this situation with you they don't want to keep it stagnant and um they want to give to you look at this nature mother earth is really guiding them in their intuition they could be what i'm seeing very like a, a burly man i'm gonna say like he's a woodsman or likes to chop wood or be out in nature loves to hike loves to surf loves to be really one with the elements um could be uh a little bit you guys are on different paths not different paths you're different people like i feel like you could be more into the city and they love the country and that kind of aspect but it's like a nice balance between the two of you so this is really where they're um, looking at your connection how they can how you can complement each other this person um, is going to really come out of the woodworks and get you um, let's see what emotional trauma drama they're dealing with in their life this is the wounded warrior deck for made by love so let's see what's going on with them in regards to the emotional trauma drama I don't feel it's with them I think it's with this person they're trying to end things with so let's see what the emotional energy is happening with your person that's just from pile two what is the emotional energy happening with pile two paranoid yeah th this they're dealing with some um paranoia i i don't feel it's them i think it's this person what is this paranoia i think it's the that they're ending things with yeah because this person's vain there's a lot of ego i think that they're with a pretty um you know basic bitch um you know what i'm saying like pretty much um somebody that is a lot on their ego they like how things look they like how things are their life is comfortable this is something where your person is not willing to put up with that or be in that kind of energy um that's why they can't come forward and offer this love let's get into these soul cards and see where your person is at as well what's going on 
with pile two's person? What is their message towards pile two's person? What is going on with pile two's person? What's going on with pile two's person? What is going on with pile two's person and their message towards you? Um, so this is where they're sitting right now. Wow. You know what I see? They see you. Wow. This is beautiful. This is like a union card to me. Um, they see, if you look at this picture here, they see you, okay, whoever the divine feminine is, as the ground, is the earth. Is I've never seen this card before. It's the first time it's ever popped up. And, whoops, just really sees you as this beautiful, um, the foundation of everything that gives them support to grow in. Completely. Um, they may have a little paranoia coming towards you too because of their ego. So that might be it that maybe you won't accept this, but this is how they see you that you do this, uh, type of balance to have them grow, to create. And so <laughs> they love this about you. So they are in a stage of healing right now. Um, I want to get another one of those cards about this paranoid and vanity. What is this? I feel that's the energy they're dealing with. They could be a little bit coming towards you because of rejection, but I'm not feeling it that strongly. Yeah, I'm feeling like this person about that is that they've gained a lot of enlightenment and awareness around the paranoia and vanity. I think it's a person that they're dealing with, and so it's not affecting them as much. This person has done a lot of work on themselves. They're, they really, I love this card. It's so beautiful. I have never seen that before, and this is like, they see how you birth new energy. They absolutely think you're just an empress, just a goddess. It's, it's really beautiful, beautiful energy and how they see you. They, they think you're it, like that's it. And so there may be some paranoia and vanity around that, their ego, like it, like is this, does pile two really want me? Claire, let's see what else. What is pile two's person's message towards them? Things may not have never got started with you guys. They feel a little foolish. Um, and so there hasn't been a renewal in this connection as of yet. Okay, we have the judgment in reverse and the fool. That could have been from doubts from the past. Um, and so they have a lot of, they have some regret towards you, Pile 2. Um, they know you're their life partner and they're having some regrets about this. And they don't want to wait anymore. Um and what they're investing. They're not investing in the past anymore is what I'm getting. They and they want to end all conflict with you. Yeah, they want to come clean. They know that you may be this icy person right now um, with their sword up and a little bit cold. It could also be that um, if it's not you, then it's the karmic energy that they're dealing with, that they're trying to end the conflicts before coming towards you because this person is having massive paranoia. There's a lot of hidden factors that you're not quite seeing piled to, and your person wants you to know that they truly want to um, elevate this with you. What is the doubts of a renewal that's happening here? When their doubts kick in, they know that uh, fate is going to be coming in, and the wheel is going to start turning for you guys, so they're not too worried about that. They do have some regrets here because they may have like pulled back their love from you, and maybe after offering something to you, and it became a lot of emotional instability. Um, they want you to realize that they, they know that they've created the drama here. If there was like any drama here, they see wow, 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 this is gorgeous. They see you, look at this, there's a couple right here, that you are the earth and they create the king of wands is action and passionate. And that's exactly what this card is about. Earth and fire and action and creation. Passion, you gotta plant seeds, right? You know what I'm saying, right? Plant seeds, you know, the bees and the <laughs> birds and the bees, right? They have a lot of passion towards you. And so they wanna plant that with you. They wanna action this. They wanna work on this, focus on you, make you their, their everything here and for this new beginning in love. So they will, I don't doubt, they will be coming forward to you, Pile 2. It's just gonna take a little bit right now because they're dealing with some psychotic kind of person here let me just look at the time here um yeah because they're dealing with some massive <laughs> issues let's see if they can get a time 
frame, Spirit. Can we get a time frame of when Pile 2's person is going to come towards them, Spirit? Can we get an uh, indication or any other insights here of when Pile 2's person is going to come towards them? Thank you. They may be, they're, they're letting go of stuff. So to let go of their past, they may be getting help from other people in their life right now because this person is having like a massive freaking panic attack. I think it's already ended or it's coming pretty close to ending here. See, the first one that came out was um, helpful people. So they may be getting help from other people right now in order to let go. So they want you to know that they are definitely letting go and they're getting help from other people um and they are in a place of recovery right now they want to come really clean to you because when they come to you that's it there's a lot of passion here let's just say this person um i'm seeing a lot of leo energy aries or sagittarius a lot of fire so they're definitely wanting to come forward to you they're going to communicate clearly about everything of what's happened they don't want to keep you in the dark and there will be a peaceful resolution to this connection so they are following their intuition they are following what they desire with you and um yeah let's see where they're lining up in their chakras because this person is definitely um going to come towards you okay well, this is where they're at right now they don't want to lose this they don't want things to end with you they've been delaying this ending um, with the other person maybe because it's been very dramatic and I don't think that they're delaying it um, because they don't want to come to you they're delaying it this person's a little crazy and paranoid so I think they're trying to ease it and getting help from people now so that they can come towards you because they're, I think they may lose their they're gonna lose their cool when they find out that they're with you okay what's going on with pile two's person please spirit what's going on with pile two's person messages for, from pile two to to the person from their person yeah look at this they're persevering for this okay they are moving towards you they're very impatient like they want to get moving on this but the something is holding them up here you may want to go look at the karmic reading that i just did um because this is the energy that i was kind of feeling there it's i just did it the karmic is like uh playing a holier holy martyr or something like that okay i just did it yesterday you're gonna want to go look at that because this is the kind of energy that i think they're dealing with yeah exactly as i'm saying that oh my god they're recovering from victim trickery manipulation okay and playing the victim this person put them through the ringer guys so they're still they want to persevere this they want to come towards you but there's some um, yeah, they're blocked here. It's like passion. They want to speak their truth. Their heart is like they've been tricked a lot. Their crown chakra is telling them to recover, to bring them bring this key to you. And they definitely um, want to come back to you um, and want this reunion with you, okay? But this is what they have definitely been dealing with um, in their life. Let's take a look at the Kipper deck. What else is going on with Pile 2's person towards them, Spirit? What's going on with Pile 2's person towards them? What's going on with Pile 2's person towards them? They want to make sure that everything's in the clear for this love. They don't want any more trauma drama. I feel like this person has had a lot of drama in their life. I think they're really over it. They know that you don't like drama. You want a nice, clean slate. And um, I think you're willing to wait for that. Um, they are going to come. Now, I'm not saying to wait. You keep moving on with your life. But you know what I mean. Like, with this person you want it nice and peaceful so that you have time to discover how powerful this connection is and who you are together what's going on with pile two's person towards them what would they like to say to pile two please pile two's person what would they like to say to pile two's person you're the main woman all right oh look at this they want to court you they want to court you okay um they could have some money they want to shower you with gifts i feel this person is gonna like Ooh, nice take you out and do nice things for you they're thinking about you non-stop look at this they want to make this work they want to put in the work they want to experience their hobbies with you i feel you guys have similar hobbies this work this occupation is not about just work um like a business or not like a, a job regular job it's like doing stuff that you love it's almost like opening a business based on your own your passions together like you know you want to open your own surf shop or something like that you know like something like a scuba shop like you guys like to scuba dive together or something or 
something like that where you guys have similarities you want to make a business out of it they want to do this with you and they're thinking of you they're only be they're already being innovative with you in the energy so if you've been getting ideas it's because they are thinking about this and i feel this person has the money they want to wine and dine you and court you and take you places and um do a lot of this amazing stuff with you um because you are their main person and they know that they know that they know that you are the main person in their life so this person um is definitely going to be coming forward okay pile two let's get them some messages from your person now and that will be your reading if you like this please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want a more detailed reading I am offering readings for June. That info is down below. Just send me an email. I'm doing one hour lives where all I need is a first name. I get a lot of detailed information. You don't even have to tell me your whole backstory. I can pick up on it very easily. And um, I'm also doing 30 minute readings. You can ask up to five questions, three questions guaranteed, okay, in the time allotted. All right, and that's recorded. And everything is on a secure server. I don't use YouTube. For my readings, I have my own private cloud that you guys can, and it stays up there so you, uh, you can watch it as many times as you as you wish okay um let's go let's see what what pile two person like to say to them spirit romantically what would they like to say to pile two's person what does pile two's person want to say to them yeah they're healing family stuff for sure <laughs> i told you the passion is strong guys i could feel it all right yeah, religious factors were a problem here. So it could be that you guys come from different backgrounds and belief systems and stuff like that. Or it could be that, you know, they may not have thought about soulmates and this totally blew them out of the water and they're like, whoa, wait a minute. I actually have a really deep connection with this person. Um, they may have thought that love was very mental because um, I can see that they're very entrepreneurship or businessman and they can get lost in their head. And so they may, may have forgotten how deep souls actually go and what these feelings are like and you open that up for them they're realizing it's safe to love and they want you to know that it's safe for you to love them it's safe for you to come sorry i'm just seeing how my camera is it's safe for you to come into this energy with them um they are saying please stay optimistic about your love life that things are going to be changing now okay um they are healing their family issues right now and that's why it's taking a little bit of time okay so they are healing their family issues and they have a lot of passion for you pile two all right so yeah they definitely are feeling it with you they're feeling it with you what else with pile two please Vera? what's going on with pile two and their person what other messages do they have for pile two what other love messages does pile two's person have for them please spirit what other messages does pile two's person have for them what messages does Pile Two's person have for them? They may have run away from this connection. So you may have your guard up a little bit, you know? And I think it has to do with this religious factor. Let's get a little bit more. Thank you. I feel that they um, ran away here. There was a breakup and a separation here because they ran from this connection. Okay? And I feel that that happened because of this spiritual, the religious thing that was happening. I feel like this was, um, they didn't think it could go that deep. And um, now they're taking the time to heal themselves from a very toxic situation. Um, they're thinking about you. They're looking at your photos. I think they're stalking on social media. And they love you completely and unconditionally. Okay? All right, guys, let's get one more set of uh, messages from your person, and that will be your reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel to grow. And if you want a reading again, just send me an email, and I will send you the info and how to book. All right. If it is white, it is the masculine speaking. If it is black, it is the feminine that um, speaking. And it is all within yourself, okay? So if you are masculine energy watching this, then it is the if it turns out black then it is the feminine telepathically sending you messages if it's white it is how you are the messages that you're sending to your person okay and vice versa all right so you've got to kind of play around with the masculine and feminine energies this is for pile two spirit what messages does the person want to say to them for pile two please what messages does the person have for them a bit here we have some
some masculine and some feminine mixed. All right. <laughs> so the first thing that this person wants to say to you is, can we talk? Can we just talk? So they definitely want to call you. They want to talk to you. They want to communicate with you. All right. Uh, that's in the masculine energy. Next message. Your piercing energy recognized my truest self when I couldn't. It illuminated the depths of my potential. I love you beyond any form of existence. Wow. Next message. I know. I <laughs> Sorry, I knew your head wasn't in a good space when we met, but I thought I could help you. I soon realized I had to heal myself and you had to heal yourself. And I had to end the patterns of fixing other people and putting myself last. So they do realize that they have to heal that within themselves before that they could come towards you. I feel you denying our connection. Deep within, we mutually meet. And the more you repress, the more I purge for our one soul. Please heal as a sacred feminine I can't help but feel you. It's how we are created as one. And so I feel they're tapping into this, that you guys are always connected. So remember, if you are dealing with a masculine, they're feeling this on the inside about you. This is their feminine waking up, okay? So they're definitely feeling um, that they they can't get rid of you. They can't, they can feel um, that you meet them very deeply inside, that they can't help but feel you. So their feminine is definitely awakening here. Yes, I'm creeping you on social media. It's funny because on this card when I create, it's also the same thing with the masculine. So they definitely are. That's a validation. They are creeping you. And the masculine is saying, I'm doing my best to trust our love and not listen to outside influences. It's very challenging for me to stand in my truth. All right. So they are working on that. And I feel once they've gained enough confidence, they definitely will come towards you. Okay, pile two, that's your message. So much love to you. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and email me if you would like to get in for June readings. So much love, guys. Bye. Hello, pile three. This is if you pick the two-sided tarot. This is your reading. We're going to take a look and see where your person is at and with the overall energies first and um if it sounds like you're reading then it's your reading take what resonates remember these are general uh, if it doesn't then find another pile but um pretty sure this probably will resonate so let's take a look what's going on with pile three please spirit what's going on with pile three and the person what is going on i have the urge to do this a different way what's going on with pile three's person thank you spirit what is going on with pile three's person what is going on with Pile Three's person? Thank you. They're ending heartbreak. We have the Three of Swords in reverse, Nine of Cups in reverse, okay, the Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Swords in reverse. So they're coming out of a hurtful situation right now. They're ending, um, probably a karmic situation, but they're ending like the material world. Um, we're gonna take the bottom for the overall energy. And they are looking at a new passionate beginning. So, because they do feel trapped where they're where they're at right now. Yeah, this person definitely wants a new beginning. Okay. So this person has um, gone within themselves. Uh, they're on guard right now, but they are persevering what they desire in their life. This is the overall energy. Um, they're looking at their future and they're thinking about what they want with you. All right. And so they do want a brand new beginning and they are planning for the future. So this is very much they're uh, waiting, planning, looking ahead. So they have pulled back. This is a single card. I don't feel that somebody else is involved. You are very single with the hermit when you're going within. And so they've pulled back from anything that doesn't serve them anymore. And this is why they're coming. They're coming out of their healing place now. So if there was a third party, it's over and done with. I don't see them in this reading. And um, it's very much the nine of cups in reverse. So that means that they're done with egoic ways of living and love. And they still feel somewhat trapped. And I think it's because they're not entirely sure how to persevere and plan for this future and how to come towards you. So there is still something that they're working on. That's why they're, they're in the hermit mode right now. But they're definitely... Um, looking for ways and how to persevere so it's not that they're stuck i think they're in the planning stages pile number three let's take a look what's going on with pile three's person this came out 
they're seeing a lot of synchronicities in regards to you. So they're following the signs is what I'm seeing. Spirit is saying they're following the breadcrumbs that God is giving them and they're following it and they're paying attention, okay? So what is going on with Pile three person, please? What does Pile three's person want to let their person know? Who's watching? Whoa. I'm not going to take the ones that flipped down. <sighs> Let's take the ones that flipped up. They're definitely manifesting this connection with you. They're seeing a lot of synchronicities because they've, since they haven't been with you, they feel completely dead inside. So this person, <laughs> and they could have been in a marriage, but I feel like that's done. Um, they know that you are the soulmate. I'm going to pull another one on that covenant because I don't feel third party energy here. If there was, they may be like, you're so worried about that, but I feel like they may be lingering, but it's definitely this person has healed from it already fairly quickly. Um, and they want to start fresh. So clarify that covenant. Yeah. I am waiting for the right time to be transparent with you. Please wait on me. Okay. So they definitely about this covenant. So there may be tying up loose ends or something like that. Let's clarify a little bit more. What is this covenant and waiting on me? And I'm waiting for the right time to be transparent. Yeah, they're walk. They're waiting for some investments here. Okay, they, um, they're not investing in the connection, but it's almost like they were. They're still waiting. Um, they're walking away. The Eight of Cups. They're still waiting. Um, for something they have to take something from this tree and see this look on this person's face like oh This is painfully waiting here, and I don't want to wait here But it's like it's almost like the keys to the house for their property or something or like You know the deed to the house or something like legal that they have to get before they can fully walk away And know that they're fully in the clear of this individual. So this is what's happening um, What else spirit? The pile threes person would like to say this is you know why they blocked communication they weren't healing they weren't looking at this destiny but spirit kind of showed up to them and kind of gave it to them <laughs> is what i'm getting and saying uh, where you blocked communication in the past uh, they may have ghosted you in the past that's because they were dealing with a lot of drama in their life it was a very difficult path but they're walking away from that now spirit clarify that yeah they're the burdens are coming to an end here Okay, they've been that they're walking away because fate is telling them to move on now. So the karmic wheel is turning, and um, this person is definitely um, ending things to move towards you. Um, they still feel somewhat trapped, and um, let's clarify that feeling trapped. What is that feeling trapped? Yeah, that's a karmic energy that's turned their back. So there's still something that's there, and I'm not feeling them, you guys. They want a new beginning with you. What is this? Oops. Yeah, they're healing right now. Okay, so the four swords. So they're still in a state of healing. So you may want to watch pile two because it's somewhat similar, but they know that they're manifesting you, that you are their soulmate, and they're definitely moving towards this connection. Let's see what else for pile number three, please. Pile two is similar, so you may want to watch that one. What is going on with pile number three person? Thank you. What is going on with pile three's person? What is going on with pile three's person? What is going on with pile three's person? Oops, sorry guys. What is going on with pile three's person? Messages that they would like to say to pile three. What is going on with them? They want a spiritual career with you. I feel like they want to change things up a lot. Yeah, look at this. They want domestic harmony with you, okay? They want the domestic harmony. They want the spiritual career. So they want to work with something with you, hobby-wise, okay, spiritual career. And they want to change the relationship of what it's been. And so I'm really seeing, like, this is probably a twin flame mission work. They want to do this with you. Um, they're healing exactly you may want to watch pile two so they're definitely healing in their situation um, what is going on with this covenant here spirit we're just going to clarify any third party energy what's going on with that third party oh my god seriously they definitely had to parent this person was very immature that they were dealing with okay pile three so it's almost like they were becoming the parent 
they already have children. I feel like some of them already have children from another marriage or um, they just don't like childish behavior <laughs> and they ended up parenting this person, okay? They had to have, it taught them how to have a lot of patience, but they are completely completing that cycle, completion. Is that completion? Yeah, completion. So this cycle has ended, okay? So they're just in a place of uh, a final healing process, okay? Let's uh, clarify a little bit further about this um this completion here and messages yeah they were very depressed in this situation they want to apologize for anything about the fighting and the arguments and the illusions that they created and then the confusion that they created for you they don't want to fight with this anymore they definitely want to apologize to you because of all the sadness that they have brought and um they know that you were you were special okay um and they put a wall they put they boxed you into a wall in, into this uh, you should be here in this open meadow. Oops, in this open meadow here, sunshine and sunshine, lollipops and rainbows. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. That's what they yeah, they see you. That's how they see you. And they're like, that can't be real. And yeah, you definitely want to watch part two. And they're like, um, I put you in a box. Like I'm so sorry. I, I, I stuffed your sunshine down. <laughs> and this person they were dealing with, you know, was a um. I guess it seemed more tangible at the time than the sunshine and lollipops. Um, and so they're healing, they're realizing that they have to, they had to heal that, okay? And so they definitely wanna come and offer you something of love and apologies. Let's see what's also going on with pile number three's person. What else is going on with pile three's person, please? What would they like to show and reveal to pile three about where they're currently at, Spirit? What is going on with Pile Three's person? Thank you. What is going on with Pile Three's person? Oh my God! I'm getting cards today that I've never seen before. This is amazing. Okay, so I've never seen this before. This is so beautiful. Ah, wait till I see this. Okay. Look at this card. Oops. I wanna. I wanna know if I can like fit this in here so I can like. I don't think that's going to be a thing. But look at this card. There are two people standing back to back. And even though you may have turned your backs on each other, there's like a hand of God here. There's like, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like um, two fingers going like the peace sign like this. And it's like a man and a woman. And even though you may have turned your backs, you're still holding each other's hand. Oh my God, I can't even. No matter what, you know, even though you're facing other people, um, and talking to other people, you are still entwined together, no matter what. This is definitely a twin flame connection. It's, I mean, just soak that in. That's what it's been happening. And your person wants you to know they have felt you every step of the way. Um, you ha they have been holding your hand the entire way, and so have you. And they want to give that as validation. They've been feeling you as much as you've been feeling them. I'm going to cry. So if you cry, please cry, because that is such a beautiful validation that you're getting for some of you. I know that this journey can be really difficult, but just know that they are your person and they're there with you and they are manifesting you just like this magician card that came out. Okay, look at this. They're manifesting you. You're, they're using alchemy. They're using the natural laws of the universe. They're reading about it. They're manifesting. They know the vibration they have to get into. So they are working with spirit. They are doing this. Okay, so they're alchemizing. They're coming into, you may want to read the book, The Alchemist, if you haven't read that by um, Paulo Coelho. Um, amazing story. It's been one of my favorites, but it's um, different, diff definitely about alchemy and working with the law of the universe and flowing and moving forward. And look at this. This reminds me of the Knight of Swords. They want to come towards you with their sword, literally. But what I'm saying is to speak some divine truth to you. They are moving swiftly. The way this is moving is like moving out of their darkness into passion for you. Moving away from things that don't serve them and holding up their hand to say, come with me. I'm going to protect you now. Come with me and I will take care of you now is what I'm getting. That is so beautiful. Oh my God. I can like feel this love. This person is definitely 
um, into you. Let's see what else is going on with your person. Let's see what mind patterns actually were holding your person back or that they're still working through. What is the emotional world that Pile Three's person is still working through? Spirit, please. What is Pile Three's person still working through to come towards them? What is happening with them in Pile Three? What are they working through right now? Spell bound. Oh, wow. So they may be working with darker energy. Someone may have done spell work on them that they are using. They're now aware of that, that they are releasing some kind of karmic energies of where they have uh, tried to bind them somehow. Can we get another one on that, please, Spirit? Someone is doing black magic in this connection and poverty. It's a lack of consciousness. So I feel like the way that, thank you, Spirit, they're saying the magician has showed up twice, basically, in this reading with this alchemy card that we got and the magician card, okay, um, from, like, right here. And so Spirit is saying that they may have used, tried to use shortcuts, healing spells to manifest what they wanted in the past, and they've created a massive amount of karma that they are now healing. And it was, they did that from a place of a lack mentality because they wanted things fast, quick and easy. And this person may have left your connection for another connection, um, thinking that they would have achieved their monetary goals a lot faster and they did a lot of spell work with that person or that person that they've turned away from, which they had a covenant with, which I'm seeing that maybe they did some kind of like covenant blood magic together. Maybe they did some type of spell work together is what I'm getting um, to bind themselves to each other. And they're unraveling this now has been quite a bit of work. And um, they're realizing they played in stuff that maybe they should not have played in. And that's why they're still healing and they want a relationship change and they want a spiritual career with you. And they want domestic harm. Like they want it all. And they're realizing even through all that darkness, they are still feeling you no matter what. They may have also done stuff from the lack mentality to kind of cut you off. And not that they didn't want you, but maybe they were persuaded or manipulated in some way um let's take a look here let's see what they were dealing with spirit what is this spell bound that this person was dealing with black magic things like that with a karmic person what would they like to tell pile number three please messages to pile number three from that person what is it that they would like to say about this spell bound Yeah, I'm going to show you what fell. I caused one. They definitely did, okay? Um, the official person came up, which means that they had to take leadership of their life from the spellbound. Um, they were giving up their power through spell work, okay? Um, they It was with a false person. So definitely that's a validation for some of you, okay, that this person was doing black magic with this person to try and manifest and take shortcuts and it wasn't working caused a lot of despair and it actually created a lot of despair in their community something happened with the community that they were working in it could be like a coven that they were working in it could be whatever it is they were working with it caused a lot of issues for the people around them okay it took energy and this is when you deal with black magic they don't realize when you deal with black magic um we have two that got put here they want to come on a journey to gift you something now because they're, they're, they're healing on this, okay? So people don't understand is when they deal with black magic and start doing spell work to keep people and to for love spells and stuff, it's, it's black magic. You have to surrender all of those things to God. And um, if you're working in that way, it takes energy from the people around you. It takes the light force from your family, from your kids, and it gives it into the, per the people who are binding that energy. And that's what's happened. It took away monetary and abundance from the community it affected their community around them so they want to come on a journey and they definitely want to come towards you now and they want to gift you something and they knew that spare brought you as a gift so yeah that is some potent energy there guys let's see what else if we have any answers from spirit um in regards to 
your person, what they would like to say to you, Spirit. Is there any time markers? Is there any other further messages from Pile 3's person? Sorry, did I say Pile 2? You may want to watch Pile 2. I think you may resonate with that too. What is going on with Pile 3's person? Is there any time markers? Any other further messages before we get into the romantic messages for Pile 3's person towards them, please? So if you knew there was some spell work and stuff, they are breaking free of that, okay? It's taking some healing work here. Pile three's person, <laughs> yes, there was spell work, but they're saying yes to you, okay? Ooh. So they definitely are saying yes to you, okay? Um, but they're saying not right now, no, it's not the right time, okay? So they definitely want this with you, but it's no, not the right time right now because this is they want it to be romantic here okay there is romance here let's clarify the no not the right time give me one more because they want they need they need you to wait okay in the near future you still have to wait in the near future that's why they want this with you so don't get it wrong um they're getting more information i think it's the spell work that they're trying to break and what is this yes that they want we'll just clarify for you don't stop okay they're not stopping so don't worry about that they're moving they're moving forward because they're right they know you're ready they're trying to get ready for you okay so they definitely are moving towards you um right now at this moment that you're watching this reading is definitely um not something that they're doing right now because they're still dealing with something um with this uh, healing aspect right all right let's get some messages from your person do some romance angels so if you guys like this reading so far please hit that like button it really helps me out i really appreciate it sounds good karma back my way for doing these free readings for you if you would like to subscribe that would be even better and if you want to do a reading i am running readings for june there are 30 minute recorded readings or there are live readings with me and if you do a live i pick up a lot more information uh particularly about your situation because I can just I don't even need tarot I can just get it with like um my first name so if you are interested take a look down below you'll have to email me because I don't open them up all the time um but yeah all right let's get started what messages from your person to you would they like you to know what would they like you to know well we got quite a bit here pile two we have quite a bit here Okay, so right now they're dealing with finances and career, and that could have been, that's exactly what I was picking up. They had to take the boss of their life. They had to become this, um, take the reins, because again, as I was saying, when you do spell work, you take energies from everywhere else, including your community. So they may have lost some money. So now they are working on their finances and their career, okay? They are definitely um, wanting to get to know you, okay? This is like getting to know each other. Wow, they, there is a separation going on, okay? So they know about the separation. They completely are aware of that. Um, they want to get to know you when the time is right. They may have been dealing with a past life relationship. I think it was the karma that they were dealing with before, but it's also that you've had past life with this person before. Their friends are trying to help them right now to get through things. Um, they want to make the effort with you, but right now they're loving themselves for this true love, okay? So they want to make the effort here, okay? They really do. But right now, they're loving themselves for this true love. You are their true love, and they're making the effort for this. Uh, that's why they're loving themselves first and doing this healing work, because they want to make sure that they're good. Yeah, pile two is something you definitely want to go watch pile three, because they're, uh, it's very similar messages. Let's take a look at some final messages here. What other messages does Pile Three's person have for them, Spirit? What other messages does Pile Three's person have for them? Thank you. Oops. What other messages does Pile Three's person have for them? I feel they got persuaded and lured by black magic and the whole ooh la la stuff away from you know, from you, I've got a lot of message. Your person has a lot to say to you, all right? They dated a soulmate, okay? So this was a soulmate, or this is your soulmate, okay? I think it's more of a twin flame, but they know that you're their soulmate or a high-level soulmate. They want to date you. I'm also feeling that um, if they were, if this is a twin flame, 
um, this is another why I'm getting this, that they dated a soulmate that pulled them away from you. Um, and they may have ended up getting married, but they want this with you. They definitely want wedding rings, okay? And they can see the clarity and the truth of this situation now. <coughs> they want the stability with you, with this palm tree, okay? They may have stabbed you in the back with this person, okay? But they love you unconditionally, even though the, you had a breakup, okay? And they sabotaged this. They are finding out the truth about things and lots of things are coming to light. This soulmate card, let me just clarify this soulmate and date because I feel like they left you for this person and went that way and they realized that, yeah, yeah, that they have to ascend this. They were thinking in the past here, they're ascending, okay? And that's if you are twin flame, I'm not trying to go by labels, but I'm feeling some of you are twin flames and they dated a soulmate and left and may have got married for some of you and they got a lot of clarity now and they stabbed you in the back with this love and this breakup and now they found out everything is the truth and that you are the true love and for others this is a high level soulmate that they want to marry and date not that they don't want to date the marry the twin flame they do want that but that was the two storylines i was getting this is ascending because cupid has uh struck both of you okay this is a true love because of this um these energy cards this one again right it's a true love okay they had outdated thinking in the past and that's why they made the choices that they did but they're making healthy choices now okay and we're going to get some final messages from my mirror deck so what are the final messages sorry guys if you hear people talking downstairs what are the final messages the black is feminine energy the white is masculine so take it as it resonates it's how if it's the opposite sign of you if you're feminine for instance and a masculine message shows up it's how they they feel how you're feeling them on the inside and if it's the other way around um that you're a feminine they get a feminine message towards you it's how they hear you and feel you on the inside of themselves okay sorry had to just talk to my parents my dad just came in from his work uh, let's take a look here what are the mirrored messages here what's going on with the mirrored messages here for pile number three Oop, i'm not feeling that one sorry pile number three is the person's messages mostly in the feminine energy so I just didn't know which one went first okay let's just do it like this uh, there's a lot of messages here so just bear with me um, so they're feel they're more in the feminine energy than the masculine energy meaning that they're feeling the feminine on the inside okay um, and if you are a feminine this means that this is how they're hearing you on the inside if you're a masculine energy these are the messages from the feminine to you that you feel on the inside either way i'm so angry about our situation i'm doing my best to heal this i know you feel my anger but i also know i have to express it in order to heal it so they're not in a great space right now they're definitely in a darker place they're trying to heal it they're having a lot of anger of how maybe they treated you i'm feeling you in every song so music is definitely speaking to them I'm sorry I've pulled away, but I need to heal and move on from this vibration. It's not healthy for me. So they pulled away to do this healing work, okay? And they know that it's not, it's not healthy because it's a lot. It was a lot of darkness. I want it all. I don't want to be friends. I'm struggling with what I want and what I deserve. It's part of my control issues, but I'm working on it. So they don't want to just be friends with you. They may have friend zoned you in the past, but they're realizing I don't want that. I want everything with you because this is a true love situation. Okay, everything reminds me of you. Wow, that's the masculine energy. We have, I felt a completely different energy with you that I still can't place. You never leave my heart nor my mind. Wow, this person is really feeling the feminine energy and definitely sending telepathic messages to you, okay? Your piercing energy recognized my truest self when I couldn't. It illuminated the depths of my potential. I love you beyond any form of existence. Wow. Any form of existence. That is powerful. I am realizing that I want to fix us, that I want 
I sorry, I am realizing that I want to fix us to fix you to fix me. I'm starting to understand that I can't fix anyone, not even myself. Nothing needs fixing, but everything needs love. I'm working on love in the deepest sense of knowing myself better. Wow, so this person may have a lot of feminine energy too that they may want to fix everything and they're realizing they just can't do that. So that's your reading, pile number three. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment. I would love to hear how this resonated with you. And also, if you want a reading, send me an email and I'll send you those links and instructions on how to book and we can get very detailed with you. Only open for the month of June. So much love, you guys. Bye. Hello, pile number three. You picked the Lindstrom Tarot, which is this cute little mini deck. I absolutely love it. We're going to take a look at uh, your person's messages to you. And we're going to see first where they are in the overall energies. And if this sounds like your pile, we'll keep going. And if it doesn't, just pick another pile. But um, yeah, usually your intuition is pretty on. So don't try to make it fit. Obviously, these are general. If you want a more detailed reading, um, I'm also a medium and all that. So uh, you can take a look at my email down below. Just send me an email. I am open for June readings, okay? What is going on with pile fours person? What is going on with Pile 4's person right now? What messages do they have for Pile 4? Thank you. All right, we have the Two of Swords. They have their head in the sand right now. They're not sure. Uh, we have the Four of Pentacles. They are trying to open this up. They're trying to be remain open um, towards you. You are their wish fulfillment, but they... Um, yeah, Ten of Wands in reverse. They're closing off any burdens that may be hindering them right now. They do have their head in the sand a little bit. They're at a crossroads, but they're doing their best to stay open to this and to manifest you, okay? We have the overall energy, the Magician in reverse. So as I'm saying manifest you, things haven't been manifesting for them. They've been manipulated um, in the past by love, but they're still remaining open to you. It's the Queen of Cups here. Okay, the nine, the page of swords, they are stalking you, looking at you, they want to discover things with you, they're curious about you, you fascinate them, you're a different energy, and the seven of cups in reverse, there's a lot of clarity that's happening here, so they definitely um, are at a two of swords, why are they at a two of swords, spirit, why are they at a two of swords, They know they have unfinished business with you. So this unfinished business may be a little bit taxing. It may be hard for them to have to face certain things maybe from the past, face themselves, um, because there's definitely an energy of unfinished business here. What else with pile number four person with this crossroads? Yeah, they may have to end some traditional type of belief system, a marriage, a commitment before they move towards you. But um, I do see that they are wishing for this and they're remaining open to you and they are releasing any burdens here. They're coming out of the hermit mode and they are not juggling this connection any longer. So there's definitely... Um, something happening here because they do want you they are seeing this clearly they're not looking at it from an illusion or from like their romantic like ooh la 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 fantasy world they're actually wanting something tangible what is this magician in reverse spirit for pile four with the four of swords we have two fours so they're coming out they want to end separation here i feel that they haven't been able to manifest anything in their life or either they've been manipulated in love and so they don't want that anymore we also have the eight of swords they're untrapping themselves from something right now okay so yeah let's take a look at um the divine counterparts and separation let's take a look at this so this person is definitely interested in you <laughs> um they want to untrap themselves and they are definitely wanting something untraditional so you guys may be, is what I'm seeing, like van life kind of people or discovering the world. You may be younger than um, a lot of other divine counterparts. Um, you may, like I'm not saying you're in your 40s. I'm seeing like 20s to 30s. Um, not for all of you. And that doesn't, uh, if you are in your 40s, it means you just have a young, a really young free spirit and you want to do things unconventionally. So take that as it resonates, okay? And um you want to build something new as you're seeing the world fall apart. You guys are really amazing innovators is what I'm seeing for Pile 4. What else is going on for Pile 4's person towards them? They've been dead inside without you. They're trying to even want to watch Pile 3. This is all very similar. Um, they're being divinely guided to you. 
yeah so they've been dead inside until since they met you okay they they didn't know uh what to take um since the, since you came into their life it's been alive okay um but they've been in dead inside up until that point and you've ignited something in them so they're saying yes they want to transform for you they want to transform with you and for themselves first of all obviously but also for this connection they want to manifest so this is magician energy coming through they haven't been able to um, manifest because they've been completely blocked in certain other things in their life um where they're untrapping themselves, they want to end a separation, they're done their healing. So this person has done their healing and they're being divinely guided back to you, okay? So there's definitely um, an energy here that they're coming towards you. They want they want something with you. And um, yeah, let's take a look at the chakras. I didn't do this one for pile three, but uh, it's calling me for you guys. So let's take a look. What is going on with pile four's person towards them? What messages do they have for pile four, please? What messages does Pile 4 have for their person? What messages does Pile 4 have for their person? That one flipped up. So there may have been a lot of gossip in this connection. People may have like talked about you guys because I think it's maybe a little bit of a different match or if you're too young or what do you guys know about love or you guys are just really free-spirited and you're kind of like maybe in your 50s and you're like... People don't want to live out of vans or, you know, what about, like, your stability? Why do you want to sell your house and, like, do this crazy stuff and travel the world or whatever? Something very unconventional. Um, but your perceptions are different and Spirit is pushing both of you into this place of creation. So Spirit is saying that your person understands that a lot of people may talk about what's going on with you guys but you're being divinely guided together to manifest something really beautiful and the way of this world doesn't suit you guys you guys are different and uh this is your destiny you both have been in complete isolation and um even the way of our world with covid and everything you're realizing that you want to move towards your destiny you want to do things in your destiny and what's going to bring you joy even if it's unconventional and completely different and um you don't care who talks about it anymore a lot of heart chakra energy and higher crown chakra energy and the throat chakra energy is here so what is this gossip here oh my god about how you're going to move forward um that you're following spirit the high priestess you're following a higher power you're following your intuition and contemplating how to move forward it's exactly what i was saying people are going to question that and be like what is wrong with these people <laughs> and your person understands that and so they're really getting ready to kind of come forward and um yeah let's pull let's pull another set of cards here i'm gonna get these soul cards here what is pile two's person towards them how are they feeling towards pile sorry pile two what am i saying pile two? you may want to watch pile two as well pile four's person what is going on with pile four's person towards them please spirit what's going on with pile four's person what is going on with pile four's person spirit what is going on what are the where's their energy right now messages towards pile four i want to get another one i feel like another one yeah <laughs> this is how they see the two of you that's why he's getting this this is how they see the two of you um this one this person may be an artist or someone that's very creative and the other one is very joyful and happy and comfortable in their skin so i see a pair here that came out this person is more serious and very focused on what they're doing and this person's a very free spirit and it's very much like a hipsy dip, hippy dippy gypsy kind of couple you know and it's like he wants to do pottery or he's artistic or he's um really focused on his work and he works he's working on his dark right now there's an abundant of of rainbow waterfall that's happening here but they're really focused on what they're doing and they can get really focused and the divine feminine here is really in a place of like happy and joyful and self-accepting and so these are the light and dark energies with your with your energies together and this person wants you to know that they see that in you guys they see this vibrant energy it's really it's really innocent and really amazing um childlike and fun like sitting around a campfire and playing guitar and like dancing and singing and uh, just a very simple life but a simple happy life like i i don't know if 
it's anything in like having the big ginormous house or doing that kind of route not that you guys can't have that but because you can manifest a lot with this creation card but this person wants simplicity with you let's see what else with Paul force person please towards the viewer Paul force person yeah they want a new beginning with you the ace of pentacles seven of wands in reverse they will break down anything that they built up in the past their foundations their home life they're not going to be defensive with you they just they just want a new beginning with you so they're definitely going to be coming forward five of wands they don't want to fight with you okay so if you guys have fought they don't really want that anymore they want to they want to really move forward and build something different something really different okay let's take a look at the angel answers here and see what if they have any other messages for pile four anything else for pile four please spirit what other messages does pile four person have for them please spirit what does pile four person have for them right now what does pile four person have for them they're saying no right now i think that's because they're trying to get yeah, they're trying to find a sign to come towards you. So right now it's a no. Um, they're asking for help from others right now, and they're trying to connect to a healing met met uh, methodology um, is what I'm hearing. Um, me it's not a methodology. Um, medal no, medal method methodology is the best word that I can think of, but I don't think that's the word they're trying to translate to me. Um, but they're trying to find a way to connect to spirit in the higher realms right now. Um, that's why it's a no, because they're looking for a sign in how to compromise and come towards you. So right now it's a no, but don't be distressed. If that's only right now where the energies are at. They're looking at how they can compromise with you. We're going to take a look at the numerology cards too and see where your person is at, because they're trying to find some answers. Um, they want to come towards you. They're dead inside. They're being guided towards you. They know this. But there could be something with the gossip. There is isolation here. Actually, let's clarify that isolation card because I feel isolated towards you right now. Three of Wands in reverse. So they they know they have to plan for their future, but they haven't yet. They don't. I don't think they know what they want for their future right now. That's what I'm getting. So they're trying to get focused on that to know to get really focused on what they want to manifest. Thank you, Spirit. That's what it is. You have to know what you want to manifest. So you're a part of that, but they want to manifest the kind of life uh yeah nine of uh swords in reverse they're coming out of a painful cycle right now and so now that they're healing and they're coming out of a painful cycle they're trying to get really focused on what they want to manifest and i don't think they want something traditional here i keep getting that they don't want something traditional and they want to make sure that you're going to be on board with them and they want to build up the finances in order to present this to you uh i think it may start off as like um you know talking about it slowly and then being like hey so if you're thought about living in a van <laughs> or something i don't know why i keep getting a trailer or a van but i keep getting that mm -hmm. but it's like something about simplicity and that kind of lifestyle um we have the page of pens so they want to offer you something they definitely do with the six of cups so they're going through a dark time competition but they want to be victorious over that right now so i think it's competition with their own mind and what they want to offer you what's going on with pile four please spirit what other energies and messages would pile force person like to say to them what is going on and i feel it's almost like building some kind of like online business or present so that you can have some type of income that's coming in from anywhere so you can be remote and um that's falling out so we'll take that um yeah creativity how can you like market your creative gifts that's really what i'm getting and i feel like you may be doing the same thing pile four and i think sorry for the plane um but i think it's um definitely something creative and something different so that you can kind of like live a very different lifestyle what else for pile four's person towards them what else for pile four's person towards them See, they are going to persevere with this. I definitely picked up on that. They're going to persevere you and come after you, okay? Um, they are completing something here and getting financially disciplined. They're completing a music. You guys could be artists, okay? So music could be something, maybe writing your own music, selling it, um, living off grid, and um, writing your own records or something, Spotify, uh, something like that. 
could be that you also connect through music, but you guys are talented creatively. This is a completion and trying to come into more of financial discipline. I think that's what's happening with this person too, that they want to be financially stable to present something new to you. They are guiding, um, being guided towards this. And I keep seeing this as your person really working and focus on how they're going to be able to do this. How can I make my pot? Can I sell my pottery online? Can I do this? It's something untraditional and they're trying to figure out a way. Uh, I feel like they're in a, a, a job that they can work online and there's an opportunity to do that. I don't know if it's building websites or doing kind of, kind of project consultation or something like that. So maybe some lawyer online or something through zoom, but it's not working for them. It's a very traditional way of work. They want something different. They want something creative. Um, yeah, let's pull a little bit more for pile four. What else did they want for pile four's person towards them? Look at this, teaching and learning. You guys may be teaching music online, music teachers online, traveling musicians, something like that. You want to teach, you want to learn. Um, you're both teaching and learning and trying to figure out a new way um, and coming into your own individuality and your own gifts. So there's definitely something about this to create a new life together. And so this person is recognizing all of these things and they're taking their time right now. That's why they're not coming towards you. That's why it was a no, because they're looking for a sign and how to compromise and do this. Clarify this um, other messages from pile four, please. Sorry, my kids are fighting. Hold on fighting over technology in my life okay so four of wands are breaking down a certain foundation right now could be a home life could be a house selling the house um they're definitely looking to break that down it's creating an injustice in their life so if they had a home with somebody or they had a piece of land that they were going to build with somebody or if they're leaving a job or something traditional and it's in the middle of a massive project and it's causing a lot of injustice for people whatever it is they are uh, trying to work on that and break it down. And um, that's what's the hold up. But they want to be this, they're doing it because they want to be the stable king of pentacles for you. So there's definitely a grounded energy that's manifesting and happening for you. But this person is definitely coming towards you. We have eight of wands. You may be getting communication soon. Definitely moving towards you very quickly. So this is going to happen once it happens. It is definitely going to take off in a really big way. And um, you guys are gonna be able to put all your individual ideas together. I feel like you've been doing the same kind of thing and um, you're gonna come to some type of mutual consensus here in your energies together. Um, yeah, let's see what other, um, I'm gonna do these emotional wounded warrior cards. These are made for love. It's just to see what's holding your person up and what emotional world they are currently getting trapped in. So let's see what, what's holding them back from message you coming forward to you. But this person is definitely on their, they're coming to you. You're going to get probably communication soon. Um, so yeah, and I don't want to give false hope. So just remember these are general, but you'll know, you'll know, you'll feel the energy. So um, just be open, right? Let's see, what, what emotional uh, world is this person healing right now in the world that might be holding them back from coming towards pile four? That came right up to me. Domestic violence, okay? So they may have been stuck in a situation that was domestically violent, okay? Um, I don't feel this person around them, but they may be healing from the trauma of that. That's why they're not coming towards you. And they may be commitment phobia right now because of coming out of something unwanted, <laughs> as I say that. So uh, they may have had emotional abuse, physical abuse with a, a past partner. I don't feel that person's around. I think they're, they're healing from that. And I think they're definitely coming into a newer um, individuality and healing place with this. But... That's why they're working too in this dark right now. They're close to achieving their goal, but they're definitely um, still healing that. And so that's probably maybe what's also holding things back. Okay, but they will be coming forward. Let's see what else with this person. Paul Force person, please, to, to them. What messages does Paul Force person have towards them before we get into the final messages? What about Paul Force person, please, Spirit? What about pile four? Yeah, I think they've had a rough go at relationships, so they may want to go very slow here. You're going to hear from them. I see seen this eight of wands with this king of pentacles. They want something solid. This person doesn't like to be 
alone. They're they're very sensitive. I can feel that, and they they want they want a partner to grow with and create memories with. Um, that's equal and not you know mean. <laughs> this person has all, had a lot of mean people in their life. Poor soul. I feel bad for them. I can feel it. They're a very sweet, gentle soul. What is going on with Pile Four's person, please? Pile Four's person. Wow. Yeah. I think they know. Wow. See, they see you. They are maturing into this mature man. And they see you as the mature woman. So this is definitely a pair. Okay? And, or vice versa, you are the mature man and they are the mature woman. You are definitely a pair made in heaven. Okay? So one of you is coming into a maturing process. Um, something may have been stolen from them. Their, their livelihood, their innocence, their good nature, their, their sweet spirit. Okay? They're putting an end to that. That's what's happening right now. But, and they want something not traditional. That's why I keep hearing that untraditional type of relationship because they don't want to follow basic roles of like masculine and feminine energies. They're very maybe more androgynous in their energy um, and they want to be able to flow with energy in masculine and feminine energies more than a specific um, container is what I'm getting. And so something was stolen from them that they're putting an end to and they're reclaiming their power. Um, let's see what is that about the thief that they're putting an end to. Well, they are taking charge of their life of whatever was taken from them. Yeah, so in the future they can come towards you, okay, with this love offer. That's really beautiful. Wow, that's really nice. Let's see some love messages from your person, and that will be your reading. Don't forget, guys, to like. That would be awesome if you could like this video right now, and please comment and let me know how this resonated with you. And if you are new, just welcome and subscribe, please. Hit the notification bell. It really helps me out, you guys. So many thanks for joining me here. And if you would like a detailed reading, just send me an email and we can book you in for June. All right. What is going on for Pile 4's person? What love messages does Pile 4 have? What? Oop. <laughs> okay. What does Pile 4's person have? Their messages. Thank you. So... In the past, I saw this. What was it? This one first. Okay, thank you. In the past, they've really dealt with unrequited love. Okay, so that's not anything new. And um, they definitely feel an attraction to you. Um, they're having romantic feelings. And this could have been, you know, spiritual, uh, religious factors got in the way. So they may have thought, too, that... Um, a spiritual connection couldn't be this way or they couldn't have this type of connection but they're definitely feeling it with you let's clarify the real religious factors oh, look at that it's true love i think pile three got that too but this is definitely true love they're accepting the spiritual connection here and they have always felt unrequited love and spirit is saying here now you've given them reason to stay optimistic about this so they definitely want you to know that and they also want marriage with you so that's really beautiful let's see what else for pile number four please what else for pile four what other messages does pile love messages does pile four have for my viewer what other messages does pile four have please for my viewer Spirit, what messages does Pile 4 have? What other messages do they have, please, for Pile 4? Separation. So they want to move on from separation, okay? They've moved on in their life. They may have tried to move on from you from this separation, okay? Um, but look, they want to take a risk with you. Oops, I can't pick this up. I can't pick this up. They want to uh, take a chance. Okay, they may have tried to move away from you. They probably thought like this spiritual connection, forget that, like this isn't my person, but they, they've <laughs> realized it is true love now. So they've had that realization and they want to come towards you. They try to move on with friends, try to separate from you, um, maybe not, we're maybe just giving you very little in the communication, but um, close off to you in some way, but they want to take a chance and they want to open their heart to you. So they're definitely working through their issues. They've had an awakening. 
about narcissistic energies in their life and this is where people have stolen from them that's why that thief card came up so they're realizing their sensitive nature has been completely been taken from them from other people and they had to really balance out their own um, energies within themselves um, gender identity maybe too for some people um, sexuality fluidity all of those things something kind of really affected this person because of their level of sensitivity and um, they've awakened now to the narcissistic energies in their life and I'm sorry if you hear that my kids are watching TV now but they know that you hold the key to their heart and so they're definitely wanting to come forward with that um, let's get some final messages here oh where'd the deck go this is my mirrored messages deck they have mirrored messages on them and this will be the final messages for your reading um, if they are white they are the masculine speaking if it is black it is the feminine speaking so let's take a look and see messages from your person now if uh, Remember, this is not gender-based, it's energy, so whatever you're feeling on the inside is that energy speaking to you from the inside. What about, I'm oh, sorry, let me just, there, sorry. I hope they, I hope you don't hear that too much downstairs. Okay, what is Pile 4's person's final messages, please, to their person that they would like them to know? Pile 4's messages, please. It's a lot of masculine energy coming out here. I feel like I need to take this one. So let's take a look here. A lot of masculine energies in this one. I am healing my karma. Please trust that I'm doing the best that I can with the tools that I have. Okay. You are not crazy, my love. That is me. You are hearing inside of you. Please trust. They're definitely sending you telepathic messages when you feel they're inside of you speaking to you. That's them. <laughs> You're not crazy. Okay. Um, I felt a completely different energy with you that I still can't place. You never leave my heart nor my mind. So they couldn't place this connection. That's why they try to maybe run from this, from this connection before that separation. But they want to take a chance with you now. Okay. Please allow my space in all, please allow, ooh, sorry, let me read that again. Please allow me space in all energies. I can't handle us in the physical nor in the telepathic etheric realm. So this is funny because I feel like they're testing it out. And so when you send it to them, I mean, when they send it to you, that's them. But then when you send it to them, it's a little overwhelming and they're overly sensitive and it kind of scares them, I feel. But they know that this is true love and, um, they can't handle it sometimes in 3D. They're still trying to balance that out. So this is a very profound connection. It's a twin flame type of connection. So just give them a little time to balance that out. I, w I couldn't place the energy in our connection, but the more we got to know one another, the more I knew I loved you. It really confused me because this feeling wasn't a typical attraction I have ever experienced before. So again, they felt something different with you and didn't realize that it was love. They may have ran and they're having an awakening and they want to come forward. They've dealt with domestic violence. They may have seen it with their parents too. They may have seen, you know, made them think that they would be unwanted and have commitment issues. But so they're healing a lot of this and they want to, they want to come forward. Um, right now, they're still trying to heal a lot of this, but you hold the key to their heart. And the last message that I felt I need to take is, I need to trust that you won't push me when I return. Can we please start as friends? I need to find my footing. So if they do come towards you, it may be friendship first to build up the trust that they, they need to get within themselves because they're going through a massive amounts of healing, but they definitely want to come towards you. All right, Pile 4, that's your reading. If that resonated, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And if you'd like a reading, send me an email. I can book you in. I'm sending you guys so much love. Bye.